Hi guys, Monday the 17th of July. I did try and get in yesterday, the 16th, Sunday, but it was tipping down the rain. Every time I tried to go in, I got rained off, so I'll attempt to get in today. There are still showers, but it's not that bad. There's a lot of bees upstairs. There's three supers on this one. The main intention today is just to see how they're getting on with the supers. There's a lot of calm there. Not actually drawing them out. Sorry, capping them. They are all drawn out. Quickly show you. They are all drawn out. Just getting onto that last one. So I'm putting some in. I've certainly glued this on. My word. Properized. Proper properized. stuck that off there's a bit of weight in that one not masses it's a bit so the next one down they're just filling that one up it's getting there slowly yeah, there's not masses or weight in that zoom in and this one again, the filling. Not been too impressed with that, I must admit. Let's see, they're not, they've got enough space. This is all, the whole reason for today's look is to make sure they've got space, and they have. <laughs> Place to put nectar away that is. Yeah, they're going a bit touchy now. Maybe playing with that on here. The only intention of today's look make sure they don't need any more supers and that one is pretty good okay now we're on to hive two again this is just a look to see what the super situation's like I did put a clear board on a couple yesterday. Not lots going on here. Spider. Yeah, there's a bit in there. a bit in this one. I'll say quite a bit. It's more than the other one. We have had real lousy weather for the bees. They ain't really had a chance to get out to get bring the nectar back hammering it down with rain regular again okay, I'm happy they don't need another super doesn't look as though we're going to have a good harvest this year from the summer flow anyway <laughs> 
think the weather's still predicted to be poor this week. Okay, I'm going to switch over to Hive 13 as I'll leave the camera running. Just check in the supers. No, there's not a lot going on with this one. There hasn't been a lot going on with this one all year, to be honest with you. Hardly any bees up there whatsoever. A few bees in there. Not a great deal. See, we've got a few seams down there. Yep, I don't need to see any more. Definitely not going to get a crop off this one this year. Hi ho. How bad the weather's been, I think they've been having using their own stores. <laughs> Ain't got no spare for me, I know that much. Okay, we're going to the Bella Hive 8. Same situation. Hive oh, looks quiet, I must admit. Stairs. All those are drawn out. I hope the frames are all drawn. Usually I take it upstairs, but there's not a lot up here. No, very little bit in that one. It's only a bit more in that one. No, very little. Lots of work on this one. Yeah, so there's half a super on there. Maybe just over maybe two thirds. Certainly nothing to get excited about. Getting into height 11 now, this one was a bit Forest here, see all the guard bees are out. Let's do a bit of pruning. The apiary is a bit overgrown, still haven't had a chance to do anything at the minute. With all the weather going crazy. Wood lice on the top. up here. There's three supers on this one. That one's quite heavy. This one looks like the cap in it as well. It's a bit lighter than the bottom one. There ain't a fat lot in there at all. Drawing them out in the middle. Not loads of bees up here. So we'll 
put them in, into the middle. happening in here not a lot at all it's gonna be a lot worse here than last year last year was pretty good this year looks horrendous to be fair have a quick look on that have a look make sure this box on the rear still got yeah plenty of plenty of bees in there they just need to start bringing it up to be honest a bit foisty I'm not looking at that at the minute <coughs> I need to speak up a bit don't I yeah that was quite heavy so I might get a couple of boxes off this one but time is running out fast Probably got a couple of weeks if we can get the weather to bring something in. Still got the blackberries flowering, which is the end of it. This hive number four, I think it was failing. And that was two weeks ago, so I'm not expecting to see anything much in here. There's not a fat lot in there, pointless me going any further. I'll reassess this one in three weeks. Okie dokie guys, only thing left to do now is to check if the clearer board's done its job. See if the clearer board's done its job on this one. There's two boxes on here that was very heavy. And I only see one or two bees on here. Can't see a lot at all. Yeah, there's a couple in there, but not much. Yeah, there's one or two bees, so I'll get this off. Whew, this is heavy. Too disastrous. And a couple on this one. We're all pretty much capped. We're all pretty much capped on this. So we've got two boxes. Yeah, there's only five or six bees 
in them, this clear the boards work well. See the bees there, they're trying to get back in. It's a clear board that I use. Here's one other thing I need to do today, and let's have a look. I made two splits, two three frame splits the other day. Check and make sure they're all right. There. That's where they are. Don't even know if the queen right or anything. I have seen pollen going in the one side, but not the other. So let's have a look. There's no queen on there. You can see both sides. Both sides have got plenty of bees attacking my camera already. Let's give them a bit of smoke. I've got a crown board on here, never mind. Just want to see if these are queen right or not. Yeah, so far there's no eggs on there. I will show you in a minute once I've got round. Yeah, they definitely got a queen. Yeah, on both sides. As you can see, they have definitely got a queen there. The other cells are left in. So there is a queen. Happy days. So have a look at our last frame. Eggs all over the place. Yeah, can't see the queen, but eggs are everywhere. Okay, let's put this back together. We know it's queen wise. Check and make sure they're all right. There. That's where they are. Don't even know if the queen right or anything. I have seen pollen going in the one side, but not the other. So let's have a look. There's no queen on there. You can see both sides, both sides have got plenty of bees attacking my camera already. Let's give them a bit of smoke. I 
haven't got a crown board on here. Never mind. Just want to see if these are queen right or not. So far there's no eggs on there. I will show you in a minute once I've got round. Oh yeah, they definitely got a queen. Yeah, on both sides. As you can see they have definitely got a queen there. there the cells are left in. So there is a queen. Happy days. Let's have a look at our last frame. Eggs all over the place. Can't see the queen, but eggs are everywhere. Okay, let's put this back together. We know it's queen wise. Okay, so this side is queen, right? Let's have a look at the other side. A lot going on with this side, to be honest. Just chewing the frame out on that one by the looks of it. Now this one is queen right as well. Okay, so both splits, both queens have come back. That's a bonus. I haven't seen the queens, but eggs and larvae everywhere. It's been three weeks since these have been here. Because I haven't been to the others in two weeks. I think I might have split the week before that. <laughs> so I'm just full of bee bread. Get that to bounce. Happy days, both them splits. I've got mighty queens in. Not seen the queen, but I know. There's eggs and larvae both sides. So that's good. I'll have a quick last look at this split that's going to be overwintered. I did put an extension box on this quite a while ago, so. Yeah. Fill that up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give them. I bought some supers.
this is our little Heath Robinson if it works it works so I've got BS1 a six frame nuke with a Maismore extension and shortly the BS Honey B Super oh, sorry a, a bellow super Yeah, it's not a perfect fit. But I'm sure they will appreciate the space. Go on. Yeah, see, that's the only problem. The BS lid don't fit tight. Well, it's going to go anywhere with these on it, but... ratchet strap in there, might ratchet strap it up. So, this is what you call Heath Robinson or Blue Peter. You got a BS Honey Bee brood box, a Maismore extension, and a Bellow Super. Okay guys, that'll do from me. See you later.